Good morning, yogis. Welcome to my channel. My name is Cassandra, and today I'm going to take you through a 10 minute morning yoga class to help get rid of all the aches and pains that you might have in your body from a night's rest, and also to give you a boost of energy. So we're going to begin sitting. And as you sit up tall, you're just going to extend your right leg out to the side. So keep your left foot somewhere close towards the inside of uh, the inner thighs, lifting up nice and tall. And usually we tend to be stiffer in the morning. So don't worry if your leg is a little bit more forward than what you're used to doing towards the end of the day. And we're just going to extend long through the spine, reach your arms out, and we're gonna reach left arm all the way up into a side bend towards that leg. Inhale to lift up and going to the other side. Try to keep both hips on the floor. Once more on each side here, inhale. And exhale all the way over. And now the next time you go, we're gonna hold this one so in a side bend, think of stretching your left fingertips up and over and roll your shoulder back. Lots of space and length. Inhale, come all the way back and now ground that left palm down. Reach your right arm up and over as you lift your hips and lean on back. And bring your hips down to the floor, face over towards your shin, towards your knee as you fold. And again, usually forward folds in the morning. It can be really challenging, but I do like to do them because it is a really great way to um, open up, especially through the posterior chain. But don't push and pull. Just naturally let gravity get you into this fold. Relax your head, your neck. Taking some deep breaths here. And let's walk our hands in, lifting up nice and slow. And we'll go to the other side. So bring your right foot in towards the inner groin and extend your left leg out wherever it feels the most appropriate to you. And we're just gonna take a few side bends here on both sides. So reach your right arm up and over, extend. And exhale to the other side. Really push that left hip down. You're just isolating the upper body. One more. Over towards that left leg. And away from that extended leg. And we're going to hold the side bend now a little bit longer. So placing that left hand wherever is appropriate. Right arm reaches up. And roll your right shoulder back. Try to shrug your shoulder down and away from your ear into that baby wild thing. Right hand goes back behind you. Pick up those hips, push into the feet, lean back. So somewhere between a back bend and a side bend and let your hips come down to the floor. This time forward fold towards your left shin and left knee. Again, just remind yourself not to worry about how far you get in this pose. Make it passive and soft. We want to be really gentle in the morning. And let's walk the hands back in. Lifting up and let's cross at the ankles. We're going to find our first downward facing dog. So your hands should be hip width distance apart. Feet are hip width distance apart as you tuck the toes under and lift your hips up and back. And move a little bit here, waking up the backs of your legs. Try to drop your head fully. And let's reach the right leg up towards the sky. Bend your right knee, open up your hip. Get a big, big, big stretch here. And we're gonna step the right foot forward in between our palms to the top of the mat. Spin your back heel down at a 45 degree angle, lifting up into our warrior one. So front knee bends generously, trying to get that thigh about parallel to the floor or so. Inhale, arms rise. Think of lifting up a little taller. And let's open up our arms, interlace your fingers behind your lower back, roll your shoulders back, 
lift the knuckles off the tailbone, and then dive on down. So if you want more support, just let yourself rest on your front leg. Otherwise, dive to the inside of that thigh and reach your knuckles up and over. Strong through your legs. Let your hands come down to the floor. Find your plank pose. Step the right foot back to meet the left and lower all the way to your belly, elbows in. Point your toes back, inhale, cobra pose. Exhale to release, stay here, reach your arms back, interlace your fingers behind your lower back again, and lift up locust. So picking up the legs, as well as opening through your chest. Exhale, release. Take a child's pose before we go into down dog again. Just pause for about three breaths. I'm just noticing how the short sequence wakes up your body. It really doesn't take a lot in the morning for us to get that boost of energy and really acknowledge what you're doing for yourself. So putting your health and your well-being first by starting your day with just a little bit of yoga. And find downward facing dog. We're gonna move into that sequence on the other side. So lifting your hips up and back. Make some space again. And this time your left leg rises, bend your left knee, open up your hip nice and wide, squeezing into those glutes. And we're gonna find warrior one. So left foot forward between your palms, back heel grounds down at about a 45 degree angle. Push into your legs to lift on up. So try to keep your tailbone reaching down, lower belly hugging in, arms extend. Finding a nice lift, and this time as you open up, interlace your fingers the more unusual way. So the other thumb on top, roll your shoulders back, open up through your chest, and then dive down, either resting on your front thigh or diving to the inside of that left leg. Try to keep your hips low to the floor as you extend your knuckles up and over. Big opening and stretch through your shoulders here. Stay low to the floor, bring your palms down, step it back, plank pose. Lower down to your belly. Cobra, push your hands into the floor to help yourself lift. Exhale to release, interlace your fingers the more unusual way, the other thumb on top, locust pose, pick everything up off the floor. And release, child's pose. Big toes together, knees apart. Slowing down your breath and slowing down your heart rate. And just walk your hands in before we close here. Just come to sit with your legs out in front of you. Keep your knees bent, feet flat on the floor. We'll take a seated pigeon pose. So with your hands back behind you, you can cross your right ankle over the top of your left knee and then walk your left foot back. Or you can also just pick up your hips and bring it closer to the heels. So the closer in you have that leg, the deeper stretch you'll feel through your right glute. And then maybe just rock a little bit side to side. Try to keep a nice lift and opening through your chest. And slide that left leg straight on cross. And we'll switch sides, cross your left knee over the top of your, or sorry, your left ankle over the top of your right knee. And then bend and choose which distance feels the best to you here as you rock a little side to side. Push into your fingertips and knuckles so you can take the weight out of your wrists. And slide it out to really shake it out. 
and come to take a seat. Sitting up tall, roll your shoulders back, bring your palms together at the front of your heart. Take a moment to really thank yourself for making the time this morning to practice a little bit of yoga with me. Hopefully it helps you begin your day with some positivity and some lightness. And we'll close our practice with the chant of Om one time. We inhale to chant, big breath in. Oh. Namaste. Thank you so much, yogis, for doing this 10-minute morning yoga practice with me. I hope you feel ready for the day ahead. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what else you would like to see here on my channel. And hopefully you will practice again with me tomorrow morning. Have a great day. Namaste.